So first what you're going to need is a Apple device, as of course, um, let me close that out. I, we're going to, yeah, I have a lot of beats. Sorry if you um, hear any background noises. But, okay, so I am in my mini studio right now in my room. What, first, which, why oh, I, I just use this. You, if you guys didn't, oh wait, hold on, you guys probably didn't know about that. So if you guys didn't know, uh, when you open an instrument, you could do this. You hold it. Here, I'm, I'm going to do drums really quick. Turn up the volume. Okay, so you know, you could do that. And then... Let me turn up the... There we go. And so what you do, you... Um, close that out right there. Hold on. I'll just do a panel for, for a better example. Sorry about that, guys. So... Okay, so look, you record this right here. And then you guys probably notice that there is this focus. There's this button right here. You're going to want to click that. And then uh, you can erase that. Right right here, it's a little settings button. You, uh, If you're making a modern day trap beat like the ones I usually make, you got to turn this up to 140. BPMs, the tempo, beats per second, and you notice that it goes faster. And then right here is the Apple Loop Library where you can add, look. Personally, me, uh, you, I will, you have a variety. Personally, me, I like to use the synth. <laughs> As you could hear. So right now, okay. So, bet you guys didn't know about this either. If you uh, hold right here or double tap, it says edit. Then boom, it opens up this. Yeah, and then look. And then you can. And then, if you want, you can make these smaller. Oh, it's kind of hard to record with my phone in my hand since it's kind of big. That's what she said, but. Okay, we're gonna uh, right here. Alright, look. Oh, crap. You go to done right there. Sorry, sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast for you guys. I, I really don't know how to explain it that well. Oh my god, focus camera. Hold on, I'm gonna uh, be right back while I clean the camera. All right, well that's the best I could try to clean the camera. But you're gonna go to this plus button right there, and it's gonna give you another variety. Go to the drums. If you guys didn't know, there's a button right there. You press that. Boom. Opens up a whole library of things. Usually when I'm making a trap beat, I use trap door or hip hop machine. But I'll show you what the hip hop machine sounds like. Look, I'll play all of them. Let me turn off the volume so you guys could hear. If you have headphones in, this sounds better. And I'm going to show you guys what my second one I recommend. I, I, 
Yeah, trapdoor is the one I mostly use, but let me play all the sounds for you guys. This one's the bass right here, and this is, if you could hear. Okay, so we're gonna, if, if you guys also didn't know, you could do this, you could, hold on. Boom, you swipe it downwards, and then you triple press, and then boom, edit shows up. And you, this one right here is the hi-hat, look, I'll show you guys. Also, you have to press this one right here, because look, you can't press anything, but if you do this, you can add anything. So we're gonna also you can zoom in. We'll make our hi hats half. Oh and I'm gonna try to put the camera on the tripod. So this is a little bit easier for me. Hopefully you guys can see better like this, but I, hold on, try to put something right here so the tripod doesn't fall. Alright, so here we go, look. Then if you want, you can add a stutter effect. It's really hard to learn how to do the stutter effects, but like, since I've been, I'm not trying to brag, but look. If you want, you can do a, hold on, look. So this is for a better stutter effect right here. Sorry if the camera cuts out while I'm talking, 